Okay guys, so today is the day. Midnight is getting a snow plow. So I've decided to uh, put the snow plow on this truck uh, because it's the one I have right now. And um, a lot of new parts on this truck so it should be pretty reliable at this point. Uh, I was a little reluctant to put the plow on this thing because it has, you know, 260,000 miles little worried about uh, transmission and stuff but I think we're gonna be okay guys these trucks are pretty tough that transmission is pretty tough I'm not gonna beat on this thing um, so plow is gonna go on midnight here I ain't gonna do a detailed uh, install on this I have a detailed install on uh, Darth Dooley at 2002 uh, 3500 it'll be the same exact thing this is the same exact truck, same wiring, same headlight, same frame. Everything's the same. So I'm just going to do kind of a documentation of this. Uh, truck getting the plow on it. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick wiring, maybe some tips through the video. Probably going to start out with the mounts just because it's kind of an easy, straightforward thing. So let's get started, guys. Well, guys, it's not going to be as easy as bolting these brackets on as I thought because this part right here goes to the cross member there well it can't do that because there's a drop bracket for the six inch lift so there's no way to get that this bracket to bolt onto that bracket so a uh, sway bar might also be in the way so I, I think on what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this bracket off and I'm just going to weld that uh, to the, the cross member up there. Because that's, I mean, I could make it bolt on. But that's a lot of work and it'll, I can just put it on the hoist when I want to take it off and just grind it and cut it off uh, if I ever do that. I think that's just going to be the easiest way right now. So I got to get this sway bar dropped out of the out of the way because I might have to put a make a drop bracket for that because I think that might be in the way too. So okay, guys. So a bunch of work has happened, and you can see I've got the brackets in place. Uh, I've kept my tow hooks. And in order to do that, you have to get longer bolts. I actually had to make some bolts because I couldn't find the right size. They're 12 millimeter. And they, you basically just bolt it in the same way you bolt in your, your tow hook mounts. That's what this mount goes to. There's, there's a bolt on each side of the tow hook and then there's a bolt underneath down the frame a ways. And then there's another mount that's supposed to go to the cross member. Well, there they are. I cut them off. Just took it to the bandsaw, cut it off. And I'm going to weld that piece to the cross member. Because it's right there. It's right next to the, the cross member. Uh, the weld should be just as strong, maybe even stronger than a bolt. I think it's just an extra mount. Really, the support's already happening because it's up against the frame. There's no where it, it can go. I mean, this mount is up against the frame, so we should be good there. I got to crawl under there. I got to weld that up. Um, if you don't use the tow hooks, you, you, they give you these pieces right here. They go inside the frame. This is actually what I used on Frankenstein, the 99 GMC, because... I didn't have tow hooks, but I like to keep my tow hooks. So, because them come in handy every once in a while. So, um, the bolts for the tow hooks, these are the original ones. You can see they're way too short. You need like a like a inch and three quarter bolt at least. 
to, to be able to run those tow hooks. Anyway, I got everything bolted down. I got to go under there. I got to weld it. Weld it up. And I have to make a drop bracket for my sway bar. You see the sway bar is hanging down. Uh, you can see... That's what the sway bar bolts to is a drop bracket and it bolts to that but you can see the snow plow mount goes down below that. Also had to grind a little bit the corner off this bracket to clear the snow plow mount. So I got to make a, mount, a drop. I need like three quarters of an inch I think drop to clear everything. So I got to find some piece of steel or something and figure out a drop for this. Okay, so I just got my brackets welded to the cross member there. It's just like a, like a two inch long bead. Uh, it's nothing major, guys. Uh, like I said before, if I ever want to take this off, I can just go on the hoist, cut it off. It'll be no, no problem. Uh, it's probably stronger than the bolt that held it there originally. So we should be good to go on this. Uh, I've got to pick up my mess here, put the welder away, and we're just about finished with uh, the mounts on this thing. I just uh, finished bolting in the sway bar drop brackets and all those are is just some one inch square tubing that I drilled some holes uh, in uh, longer bolts for the sway bar. Gets the sway bar exactly where I need it. Everything looks like it's going to work out fine. It's going to work the same as it did before. Just a little bit lower, clears my mounts good. Uh, got my brackets welded. To the frame there should be nice and secure so everything should be good to go on the mount side uh, that was a lot more modification than I thought it was going to be uh, installing these brackets on a lifted truck it's going to take a, a bit more time and, and effort on your part uh, but it can be done so now that I got the mount done I'm going to start on the wiring which was supposed to be the harder part but really I think it's going to be the easier part on this lifted truck. It's going to be much more straightforward than the mounts. The six inch lift isn't going to change anything on the wiring so I'm going to get to that doing that guys. Okay so here's the wiring kit for the plow. It's all here. I know it looks pretty scary on the floor there and all wrapped up but it really is not that difficult guys to to install this. Western does a really good job on their wiring. Um, really professional, really easy to install. Uh, if you have basic wiring skills, you should be able to do that, do this. Um, I had to do a little bit of disassembly on the truck. Lights are gone, because I'm gonna have to tap into the, the parking lights and the turn signals. And then it's also a good idea to remove the battery that goes right here because a lot of the wires are going to be going through here so it just makes life easier to get your your wires off through there with the battery gone but I'm going to start uh, running these wires just started out running my main power wire this is the big plug uh, it goes to the positive and negative of the battery I just run it through my grill here through this deal and then I take on these trucks, I go to the, I guess this is the, the jump start deal. And then you got the, the ground right here. You put your, on for your jumper cables or whatever. Um, I just find it easier to go to that post there. But um, yeah, I got a bunch of wires and I'm going to have a bunch of more wires in this thing. But anyway, I got that run. Now I gotta run the, the rest of the main harness, the control harness, I guess they call it. Okay, so I got my 
my light slash control harness run and you can see the the headlight wires now those just piggyback you take your original light plug that usually goes into the headlight and you plug it into the western harness and then you take the new plug and you plug that into your light same this is the high beam uh, low beams right here so it's uh, pretty easy that way uh, you're gonna have three other wires here the blue one here is for your daytime running light you don't have to run that uh, this actually turns on the parking lights on the plow as a daytime running light uh, then you've got to uh, splice into your turn signal and your parking lights on the driver's side now on the passenger side all you have is headlights uh, you got the uh, high beam, low beam, fell back there somewhere, but it's back there. And then you've got one uh, turn signal, and that's all you're hooking, hooking up on this side. Because you've got your parking lights already hooked up on the other side. So I'm going to tap into those real quick. Uh, try to get this all buttoned up and, and pushed back in here. So for the electrical connections, I use these weatherproof connectors. They're actually just butt connectors, they're crimp type connectors, but they have a heat shrink on the end of them. I use the heat gun, shrink it up and it melts right up against it, giving it a weatherproof seal. Uh, you can get these for uh, different gauge wires. So I usually have an assortment of the bigger and the smaller size. They have the bigger size yet, but I don't really use that big a wire. But anyway, these are really nice guys. Highly recommend these. Uh, I've got the isolation module right here. Usually I, I stick it to this deal right there, and then I got all kinds of wiring I got to clean up here. But um, that's pretty much the the whole deal it's really not that difficult uh, there is another control wire right here I've got it run over the mirror right now this thing goes into the cab somehow I usually run through a grommet right down there and this is what the actual control for the plow is going to plug into and then you've also got to hook up to a switched power source in the cab something that uh, turns on when the key's on and that's pretty much it guys, pretty much the wiring for, for a plow. Like I said, Western does a really good job with this and um, it's really not that difficult. So I got the truck put together, I uh, tested the lights and they, they're working on the truck. Uh, if they work on the truck, it's a good bet they're going to work on the plow. If you got something mixed up, usually it's going to show up right now. I'm good to go. Uh, I've got to get some some more industrial velcro at the store to put that I'm gonna put that right here it's where they generally go uh, make sure you don't go too far over here or your hood can crush it it's got to be over here on the edge um, I got a mess of wiring here guys but that's kind of what it what it does uh, I got a bunch of the bulk wiring over here in the corner and it's just kind of a messy deal this is a work truck, work truck daily driver. It's not a show truck, so I uh, just want reliability out of it. All the wiring is solid on this thing. It's not going to start a fire. But um, when you add the plow kit, you just add a ton of wiring that's got to go everywhere. Anyway, uh, I've got uh, the wire run into the cab for the controller. There's a grommet right down in there on these Chevy trucks. I've got wires going through there. It goes right into the under the dash and now I got to hook up the switched 12 volt power okay, so we're under the dash and I'm going to show you what I have done with every Chevy truck I have installed the plow on there's a cover over this deal it's got some uh, wiring going to it used to be where the fuse box in the old trucks used to be but now it looks like it's just a a junction with relays and stuff anyway right here there's a bunch of prongs little prongs and 
what I do is I test for a switched power source and I just tap into one of those prongs uh, the ones on the left side is what I'm going to do three of those actually have power a switched power source alrighty we are finished everything's hooked up should uh, be in working order uh, ready for a test fit actually on the plow the only thing is for this truck being six inches lifted I actually had to order some drop brackets I was going to make some that's really why I didn't want to do this even because I was going to make some I knew it was going to probably going to take a couple days to make some drop brackets but uh, I found some actually they actually make five inch drop uh, brackets for these uh, Western uh, ultra mount mounts so I've got them ordered they should be here shortly we'll throw them on they they go they go on just like the just like the receivers do only you put one on it drops it down five inches then you put your regular one on um, hopefully I'm not too low hopefully I'm not too high I don't know when I get them guys we'll hook it up and, and we'll see I guess